Hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Patrice. Please look at the other content. If you enjoy that content, give it a thumbs up. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button for my returning subscribers. Hey y'all, welcome back. So today's video is going to be an unboxing. So I have several boxes that I need to open up and see what's inside. However, I am super excited about opening up this box these are blanks that I ordered from blanks by Coco and I cannot wait to open this box up and test these items out so blanks by Coco sells sublimation blanks so this is going to be a subtest video so I'm super excited let's get started let's open up this box and see what we have all right guys so let's open this box up and see what we have Blanks by Coco has a website, and the website should be coming up now. So if you are interested in ordering anything that I have, or possibly going to check her site out to see her complete inventory, the link will also be listed in the description. All right, so let's see. I am opening this from the bottom. All right, guys. Everything is so nicely packaged. Look. Very, very nicely packaged. I love that. So, to start, we have, let's see. I'm going to unbox everything and then we'll look at it. I think this may be a pillow, though. Let's see. Let's open it. Bunch of book bag. All right, so this looks like this is a, oh, it's a pillowcase. I should have known that. This is a pillowcase that we can sub onto. So once we just put all the sequins in one direction, we'll be able to sub onto it. And you always want to make sure you get those that are hiding underneath and make sure that they're flipped over also. So we are going to sub onto that. Next, we have these journals. And I am excited about subbing onto this journal. Next we have, this is packaged really nice for y'all. Okay, so next we have this applies the wine patty. Maybe a few other pieces here. Oh, I have a few things here. So we have, oh. So we have a wine caddy and along with that wine caddy come some coasters. So these are the coasters that go with the wine caddy. And as you guys saw, we have this necklace and it's like a wings necklace and it's very, very pretty. So we can sub right there in the center. There's like a little metal piece. Okay. And then we also have this looks like I saw on her site that she had these cute sublimation bracelets. And these are really, really nice. These are really good as party favors. And I see a lot of different like uh, will you be my bridesmaids type of boxes or will you be my son's godmother but these would make like really nice gifts and so you sub onto the little pieces and then you press onto the bracelet those are really cute all right and this looks like an airpod case so this is another thing that we sub on so this is the airpod case and we're gonna see how we sub onto this all right and we also have a bookmark and this bookmark this is a metal bookmark and it is very 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 sturdy all right and looks like i got something else in here what else do i have let's see oh so i i have a sippy 
coffee cup. And how cute is this? I love this sippy cup. I don't have any more of these, but these are super, super cute. All right, y'all. So here's everything that I ordered from Blanks by Coco, along with my complimentary coasters. Thank you so much, Miss Tanya. And she also sent inside of her packaging a thank you note along with where you can find her. And they are on Instagram and Facebook. They are Blanks by Coco. They also have their own website. And she sent me a note. I love notes, y'all. So let's get ready and let's get to subbing. All right, y'all. So now we're at the press and we are first going to sub the coasters. And there is a clear film that you probably can't see with the naked eye. And you just want to lift that film up. I'm using my weeder, but you guys may not want to do that. You don't want to scratch the coaster. All right, and it's very, very thin. You may not think that there's anything there, but you definitely want to remove that from both coasters. Most of the items have this plastic film, so make sure you move it. Okay, y'all, so these coasters will match the caddy that we have, and I simply just used a background that I had, and I inserted a little bit of text, and we're going to get ready to tape this on top. For today's press, I used my Epson Eco Tank 15000 to print these images. Also, I will be using my ink, Dynamic Ink. You can find that inside of my Etsy shop. In addition, I am using, honestly speaking, sublimation paper, and you can find the link for honestly speaking and dynamic ink listed in the description below. All right, guys. So today I'm pressing this for 365 degrees at 40 seconds. I went ahead and I flipped it over because you want to make sure the plate is making contact with that paper. I am using, honestly speaking, sublimation paper today, and you don't need any butcher paper. For this particular press, I'm not using any butcher paper because everything is pretty much covered and there isn't anything that could possibly go into that top plate. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so let's see how that went. Our pieces kind of went to the back. And I'm going to oh, this looking nice. Oh. All right, look at that ink release. Pretty good. All right. Okay, and look how those came out. Those came out really, really nicely. And I'm loving how they look. All right, guys. So now we are going to get ready to press the bookmark. And make sure you take off that protective layer. And I'm going to tape this down. So for this one also, I am not going to use any butcher paper. I'm simply going to press it. All right, guys, so we are done with our bookmark, and I know that metal is going to be hot. Make sure you have on some heat gloves. All right, let's see how this turned out. Oh, no. Is there something plastic on you on the back? All right, guys, so I did not remove the plastic off of the back, so make sure you remove that plastic off of the back. If not, it will get stuck to your paper like this. And mostly this is why it's important to use with your paper. All right, guys. So there was a plastic on the back that I did not remove. And here is our bookmark. All right, y'all, so now we are going to get ready to press the journal. And you want to make sure you put 
that cardboard strip in the center so that it provides support to the spine of the journal. All right, I'm gonna turn this over. And then we are going to put this on top. Oh, I'm gonna turn it over this way. All right, y'all, so I taped it down and I'm going to turn it till we try and get ready to post it. All right, so we are all done and we are going to get ready to unwrap the journal. Right, y'all and this is what we have and it actually turned out really nicely look at the spine the colors are nice and even throughout this binder so that makes me really happy and all right guys so now we're going to get ready to do the charms for the charm bracelet and these also have whoop, a plastic coating on top so you want to remove that all right, y'all, so I've removed the plastic, and so now I'm just going to place this on top. And I am not going to cut out those tiny pieces. I'm just going to leave it on the paper. So I'm going to tape these down. All right, so I'm going to flip this over. All right, guys, so we are all done. And... I am going to let this cool a bit. All right, guys. So I'm just going to peel the tape off and show y'all kind of what it looks like a bit. And these squares are pretty small. So... And here are the pictures. Can't really see that one that well, but they sub nicely, and these are gonna go in the charms. All right, y'all. So now we're going to get ready to sub the necklace charm. And I'm just gonna put this on top and put a little bit of tape and press it. I'm gonna put this on top of here because I don't want that ink from the paper to go on top. And we are ready to press. All right, so this is all done, and we are going to see how this turned out. All right, and this is how the picture looks on the metal plate that we are going to put onto the necklace. All right, y'all, so now we're getting ready to press the sequin, and the sequin... You need to make sure when it's on the side that you're going to sublimate that all of the little sequins are going in the same direction. All right, so it can be very tricky. It depends on, I don't know, where you get it from or how it how they sew it, okay? So if they're tightly sewn in the same direction, you're not going to have any problems with subbing it, and also you're not going to have any problems once you kind of redirect the sequins but we are going to go ahead and just give this a quick press like a pre-press some of these sweet sequins are going the wrong way um because they're so tightly uh sewn onto the material that you can't really change it so i don't know if it's this one but i tried to get them all turned and that does mean sometimes turning them individually all right, so I just want to give it a press just to kind of flatten it out a little bit more. All right, y'all, and now we are going to place our image on. I made the image a little larger. Um, I thought the pillow was a 16 by 16, but I think it's actually a 15 by 15. And so these are two pieces that I pieced together so that it will be an all over image. <laughs>
So let's get ready to press. All right, let's see. I'm gonna give it a little lift on the corner just to make sure. And it looks like it took. I don't know if y'all can see that color, but it looks pretty good. So pretty good. So this is the ink left, and as y'all see, it definitely was pieced together. And oh y'all, it looks nice. It looks nice. It looks nice. Sequence is always hot. So this is how the pillow came out. All right, y'all. So now we are going to get ready to sub the wine caddy. And you want to make sure you take off the plastic on top of this also. Looks like I got something on it. And I am going to match this up as best as possible. I got this template from off of Etsy. Um, not the design, but the template. I did the design, but they do have a wine caddy template. So now I'm just matching up the caddy to the template and I am going to tape this down. After I tape it down, I am going to flip it. You want to make sure that your top plate is making contact with the subbed image, okay? All right, so now I am ready to press and I adjusted the pressure because this wood is pretty thick. All right, let's see how this turns out. Ooh. My gold looks off, very off. All right, so it subs pretty good. Not really complaining about it, but my color, I gotta see what is the difference with my color, Joel, because this is not giving me gold vibes. All right, y'all. So now I am getting ready to put this into the convection oven. I am going to um, bake this for about four minutes at 380 degrees. <laughs> it for today and we are done subbing onto these blanks from blanks by cocos and the link to blanks by cocos will be listed in the description below a few days ago i did a live and a few of you sent me these images or some of the images for me to place onto the items and i will be sending those off to you shortly but the first one I want to show you guys is this pillowcase and it's a sequin pillowcase. It is, uh, there is a zipper on the pillowcase. You wanna make sure that this is unzipped when you are subbing onto the pillowcase, but this came out really nicely. You wanna make sure that your sequins are going in the same direction when you sub onto it. Next, this journal came out so nice. I'm really loving the journal and the matching bookmark it looks really good i will be sending this off to one of y'all as well 
in addition, okay, so y'all, I had a situation with my printer. I was running out of ink. And so this actually printed without much of the magenta, if any magenta, as well as the sippy cup. And the sippy cup actually looks really, really nice. Y'all can't tell, but there are clouds at the bottom of the sippy cup. And I am probably going to put some more items at the bottom. I'm not sure, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. But this is the wine caddy. And I love the way the wine caddy came out, even though there is little magenta in it. However, the actual color of the wine <laughs> caddy is supposed to be like this goldish color that we see in the coaster because it's kind of it's supposed to kind of match but nonetheless this is what we have and I do like both of them I just wish this would have been actually gold so I did refill my ink but it was too late and of course after I pressed all right and so next we have this charm bracelet and this charm bracelet it's up pretty well. I just want y'all to know the squares and the heart, it's pretty small. So the images, you are going to definitely want to make sure that the images fit and you don't have to resize it too much. But this is a very, very cute bracelet and I actually like it. And finally, we had this necklace with the wing charm and I love how this necklace came out and I can't wait to send this off also and the rhinestones look beautiful it's very very sparkly and yeah I think she's going to love this so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like it also make sure you hit that subscribe button in addition, if you liked any of these items, head over to Blanks by Coco's. She has so many other sub blanks that you might be interested in. Don't forget to head over to Facebook and like us on Facebook, like us on TikTok, and also like us on Instagram. All right, y'all. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.